Welcome back to Pink Oddbird. Today I'm here with what I'm calling Potuckalope version 2.0. I was, I'm in the middle of a project that I'm working on currently and I, I knew that I had some red envelopes somewhere that I got from Miss Renee at GT Designs. Thanks Renee. And I wanted to make put those in my book and it was already too late to put them into the signatures because I had already done the signatures and sewn them in. So I couldn't put the, the envelopes in the signature. You know how we fold them in half and then they're in your signature. So I was like, oh gosh, I want to use these, but how can I use them now? So I started messing around and I came up with something. And um, Potuckalope version 2.0 is what we have here. And I'll explain it in just a second. Um, I had gone quickly onto YouTube. I didn't really look at every single video, but um, I came across a couple of um, envelope tutorials, not like this one, but similar. And one is from Debbie at Dewdrop Gables and one is from Reem at Paper Pixie. So I will link both of theirs uh, below. They are different variations and both of theirs don't require a sewing machine um, where this one doesn't require it, but I do use a sewing machine on this. Um, I'm sure there's a way that you can get around that just by gluing stuff. Um, so that's really the only difference and theirs is a little, a little bit different than mine. So this is my take on it. So let me explain to you what I have here. Okay. So what you're looking at is basically an envelope and this is really all you need <laughs> to do this. Um, other than a sewing machine, if you want to sew, I think it gives it a nice look. But what I came up with is, let me take all the stuff out so that you can get the raw look. So I take, I take the envelope and now what you have is um, one, an envelope, two, a pocket, which is here, and three, a tuck spot, which is here. Um, so on the back, there's different choices of what you can do here. I've just done some stamping on this one. Um, you can have like photo here, journaling here, or just journaling or you can attach it down to your page and then it becomes another um, tuck spot in the back. So this officially qualifies to be a potuckalope because it's an envelope, it's a pocket, it's a tuck spot, and potentially another tuck spot or journaling, depending on how you want to use it. So let me show you how to make it. All right, so to make this, it's super simple. Like I said, all you really need is an envelope. Um, I guess whichever way you want the flap to be is really kind of up to you, but I've been doing it with the flap on the left side. Um, the only thing that you really have to measure is how tall your pages are. I know that my pages are eight and a half inches tall, so I was doing these, I think, at seven inches. Yeah, so you just want to fold the envelope up to whatever height you want them to be. All right, so that's what we've got so far. And then the next thing you wanna do is just open it again. And, um, and then now you've got a, a crease in your flap here. Um, before we worry about that though, actually take a pen and draw a line where the top of your fold is. All right, so we've got a line here that we drew and a crease right here. Now with your scissors, oh, you need scissors. I didn't grab my scissors. <laughs> All right, so with the scissors, open your envelope up and you should have a little. So what we'll do is cut along here. All right. And then we're also going to, what I do is cut here. Okay, so we have something that looks like this. If you can see that. So you have a little notch out. All right. 
And then the next thing you're gonna do is, well actually you should probably cut this sort of mitered so that it's not interfering with your fold. The next thing I do is where we drew our line, cut a V around that line. It does not have to be measured. It does not have to be perfect. All that this is doing, so we have this now, all that that V is doing is giving your flap here a way to open. All right, so that's that. Okay, so now that we've got these folds, or these cuts in our envelope, you can cut this piece off completely if you want to. I don't because I like to have just the closed edge, you know, how it, how it is. So what I do next is, if you notice, there's a little piece of white here. What I've been doing for that is take a piece of washi, and I got this washi from Miss Rita. Thank you, Rita. Doesn't have to be a full piece. It can be whatever you want. And then line your washi up with the point in that V. And lay it down. So here, when you close it now, you don't have that little white space. The other thing I would suggest is if you are gonna leave this little flap, just adhere it to, put some glue on it, and adhere it to the bottom flap. All right, so we're getting there. We're almost done here. Now at this point, if you weren't gonna sew, you would actually, let me go back, you would glue it here and here. But since I'm gonna sew it, I'm not terribly I'm not gonna glue that down, I'm just gonna sew it. So, here's what we have so far. Now, like I said, you can stop at this point, um, and you basically have Potuckalo version 2.0, but I'm gonna take it to the next level by sewing it, so I'm gonna do that, and then I'll come back and explain to you how I sewed it and why. All right, so here we are. We've sewn it. Um, I would get rid of some of these little tails personally for this particular um, thing. So I'm just going to do that really quick because <laughs> that's going to bug me. All right. So what I've done is sewn this. And you'll notice, just like on the original, we've got a stitch around the edge and a stitch going across. When you're sewing it, I start from here and I go down this way and up. Now you'll notice I was using the zigzag stitch and then I switched to the straight stitch. And the reason for that is because you wanna make sure this flap is open when you're sewing. So you're sewing, 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 because if you have this closed, you're gonna seal this off and then, I mean, you'll get a tuck spot there but it's not gonna be a pocket. So I switched to the straight stitch here and, and the, other thing, the other thing and reason is because you don't wanna stitch this piece down because then you won't have a pocket. So you gotta be careful and mindful of that if you're gonna sew. So again, flap open when you sew, don't sew the pocket closed. Um, and then after you sew around the perimeter, then you just want to take one stitch from the point of the V, from the point of where we cut that V, straight across, right above the um, the the, the um, tuck spot. So straight across. The reason why I do that stitch straight across is so that when you're putting stuff in here, it doesn't accidentally fall down here, and then you have to like dig through your whole Potuckalope 2.0 to get it out. <laughs> So, I mean, unless that's what you want to do, then that's fine. But that's the reason why I, I sew this. So the next thing is, of course, you just want to distress it. And I will go ahead and do that. And we're basically almost 
really kind of done. Oh, um, the other thing I will say is that um, since we... Since I, since I sewed this one, I did, did, if you noticed, I did not do this little owl punch like I did on the other two. So I have these little owl punches in here. I don't know if you can see. You can really punch anything there if you want. You don't have to. Um, I did not punch the owl in this one because I'm going to decorate this bottom part a little bit differently. Maybe put some lace or trim or something. Um, but and then... Um, you know, you could do it like that. You don't have to do that. Like I did on this one, I just put a doily. And then on this one, I think it also depends on where, where you fold or what kind of envelope it is. This envelope is straight across here. This envelope goes like this and then straight. So, I mean, you don't have to do the notch. You could put some decorative paper in here if you want to, to line it so that decorative paper will show through on the open parts. So, um, but that's just another, uh, another option that you can do. So the only thing that you really have to measure is the size of what you want to put in here. So I think for the way that I've been folding it, it's about three and a quarter by three and a half or so. Um, so yeah, this is it. So now it's really up to you how you want to decorate this. The other thing I was thinking you could do is um, you can actually do a border punch here maybe or even just cut it open if you don't have a border punch and then this piece becomes another pocket so it'd be this is a pocket and then behind it is a pocket or a tuck spot sorry and then this is a pocket and then you have the back. So again um, as far as closures go the way that I have done the closures on these is this one, I, I used an altered paper clip to hold it closed. So you can see what that kind of looks like without the tags in there. And I have also not used an uh, a paper clip. And um, I have this little tag and this large tag. So what I would do is put the large tag behind you can see I've got my little paper pad in here and then put the small tag in front and that holds the flap closed. So nothing's going to be moving around on either of these. Um, so yeah, I guess if you don't care for this, um, just try and find envelopes that you might have that are straight across. i this doesn't bother me at all. Um, but you know, it's, it's really just up to your own preference. Um, and lastly, before we go, I just wanted to share with you one more way that I thought you might be able to use these coming up. Uh, for Christmas, you can use these as little gifts. Um, so you could use this area here for your gift card in the pocket. You could tuck goodies in here, like all Christmas goodies. And then on the back, maybe Christmas photo and then Christmas well wishes holiday wishes, seasonal wishes, um, whatever you want to do and, um, give these away as gifts. Or like I said, use them in your book. You can attach them down into your book and then you have your Potuckalope 2.0, or you can let them be freestanding in your book. So I hope you guys all, um, found that easy enough to do. It's really <laughs> all there really is to it. If you're not going to sew is a fold up, and um, just doing something here to seal that off if you want to. If you don't, then you just have to tuck it in like this as a large pocket and just know that if you put anything small in there, you will have to shake it out. Um, if you do have envelopes that, are, that have windows, it might be actually neat to do something in there, like seal off a part of it and let it be a shaker at the bottom or something. Um, I don't know. You guys, I, I can't think of everything, but here's the base. Here's the canvas. <laughs> so you guys can take it and run with it. I'd love to see what you guys do. Um, if you end up making something with, with the, with these Potuckalope version 2.0 envelopes, uh, tag me on Instagram, let me know, or you can, um, sit, let, leave a comment here and tell me to come and check it out on your channel. And I absolutely will. So that's going to wrap it up. Thank you guys all for watching. Hope you guys use it. 
Hope it was helpful. If you guys have seen um, this particular one anywhere before, please let me know. I'd be happy to um, leave, a, leave a link so that person can get credit. Otherwise, um, check out my other friends that I link down below on their tutorials, and we'll see you next time. Toodaloo.